Hey, my house is this way. Um, I was going to try to cleverly start the episode off, but uh, Aerith apparently had other plans. What's up, everybody? My name is Starbracer, Nathan, and welcome to another exciting installment of Final Fantasy VII Remake. I told myself I wasn't going to record anymore today. Uh, I can't stay away from this game. Not for that long, at least. Talk to what to? Anyway. Uh, Cloud, what's your favorite flower? They're all the same to me. Huh. You sure you want to say that to a florist? Better than lying. Okay. Then what'd you do hmm. with the flower I gave you? I, uh... You give it away? I did. Ooh, to who? Tell me. Don't recall. Hmm. What? Thought you didn't like lying. Uh. Well, anyway. <laughs> oh my gosh, she has his number. Uh, last episode, we started out um, uh, journeying and battling with Aerith. And as you can see, she's very quirky, very quick. Like a, like a whip. Just whoosh. She's got something for you. My house is just up this path. Mom should be home by Whoa, now. Whoa, Echo. So I'll introduce you. I am so excited to see what this place looks like in, in Remake. Such a pretty, like, sanctuary-looking area in the original. There you go. Oh. That's my house. It's amazing. Wow. <laughs> hey, my house is this way. This... Almost reminds me of Xenoblade Chronicles, like that big waterfall and like the idea of jumping off of that cliff into the water. Oh man. All the flowers. This is so cool. Come on. I'm home. Hey baby. Been up to no good? Rude came by. So, this is my mom, Elmira. Elmira. This is Cloud, my bodyguard. Uh, hi. Take good care of her? That's my job. Or was my job. Yep, thanks. So, Cloud, you gonna head back to Sector 7? Yeah. Then I'll show you the way. <laughs> then why'd you have me bring you here? What if the Turks show up again? It'd suck, but I've dealt with them before. Honestly, I'm much more worried about you. What if you get lost, huh? You'd be too embarrassed to admit it, and so you'd just keep on going. Quit acting like you know me. Hey, Mom. I'm gonna go take Cloud over to Sector 7, okay? <laughs> <sighs> okay. But why not wait until tomorrow? If you head out now, it'll be dark when you get back. Better to rest up here and make the trip first thing in the morning. When you'll have daylight to spare. That's true. She's got a point, Cloud. Hold up. Oh yeah. I still need to deliver Hold some up. flowers to the leaf house. Since we have a little time before dinner, you should come with. That wasn't the deal. You mean you want more? Even though you've got a priceless reward coming your way? Do you know what I promised him? I'll do it. <laughs> <laughs> I'll go grab the baskets. Be right back. Nice. <laughs> that Aerith. She's a handful, isn't she? You're telling me. It must be tough. No, never mind. Hmm. Sorry? Hmm. Like how you open your mouth to say, hmm. Hmm. <laughs> hmm. <laughs> uh, wow. Look at this place. It's the same layout. I mean, they got it to a T. The same layout. Just, you can see the individual things on the, the shelves and whatever these are. On the shelves. And the TV. And, ooh, the gemstones on the shelves. Ok, 
Okay. Hmm. I think I can interact with. Let me just get close and double check. Close to everything. <laughs> Ditch and go outside. Excuse me, Mom. I'm gonna see what you're cooking in here. My name's Cloud Strife. I just wander wherever I like. Even like the. This oven thing looks like it reminds me of original. Huh. Very neat, very cool. I guess I'm supposed to follow Aerith upstairs. This door or from beyond the grave? I don't know where you are. <laughs> Ooh. Can't really take a good look outside the window. But it's there. Nonetheless. I gotta say, the aesthetic of Final Fantasy VII has always been super cool. Like, it's kind of, it's low-key, like steampunky. It's spacey, but it's also like wildlands and ah, uh, it's so neat. But is there anything useful for me? That's what I want to know. No. There isn't. Hmm. I guess I'm supposed to... After experiencing her say that, just go back downstairs, yeah? Found him! Hmm. <sighs> you take this one. <laughs> Carry the basket, Cloud. Take... The basket. Yes. Right. Off we go. <sighs> She's reforming him. This is adorable. And these right here are my babies. Oh, your mom. Plant mom. Yeah, my roommate's a plant dad. And diverting. Neat. Neat. Dang it, game. Never let me have any fun. And diverting once again. Which ones do you think we should pick? Any of them. Oh, don't be like that. I know you have an eye for this kind of thing. Are you serious? Choose flowers to deliver to the leaf house. Press triangle when you are close to a garden. Wow. So we can actually choose which decorations they use. Awesome. It's like Animal Crossing. Wait, can I, can I choose some of these up here? Because these are kind of weird looking. I want the weird ones. You know what they look like? They look like shower caps. But they also look like... Oh, what are those things called? I don't know if you guys have ever gone to like a Chinese restaurant and they serve those those uh, pastries that are like filled with the yolk, or, like yolk, yolk cakes, something like that. I don't remember what they're called, but they're terribly delicious. They look kind of like that. Kind of. Hmm. 
Not a big fan of those. These are nice, though. Good eye. People used to give these to declare their loyalty to one another. Interesting, right? Aww. I think we still need a few more. Which should we pick next? Oh, I like those. Is there more over here? Or is that... Or are those three the only that we have? Okay. So good. I don't... I don't miss out on dialogue. That's what I was beginning to... To wonder. That's the one I gave you. Huh. It is? Nice try, mister. You can't fool me. She said, as many as you can carry, so maybe a few more? Whoa, foxtails, huh? I gotta hand it to you, I never would have thought of that. It'll definitely take them by surprise. I mean, I don't want them, but... I think we're good now. What do you say? Shall we go? Yeah. I love, even going down the slide, Eris like, Wee! And Cloud's like... <sighs> <laughs> so with this cloud holding a basket of flowers is such a mood is such an image burn this into your memory because you ain't gonna be seeing this again most likely so we gotta just backtrack right through town which means everyone's gonna see me holding a basket of flowers no need to hurry not under the gun or anything. I'm not cut out for this crap. Sure you are. And when you're done, you'll be drowning in job offers. <laughs> Cloud Strife. Mercenary for hire. Florist for the hire as well. So, how do you think they'll arrange these flowers? Don't know. Well, we'll soon find out. See, another one of these, like, arenas. Is Sector 5 slums going to become another uh, area, like like the Sector 7 slums, that I can do quests and help people out and all that stuff? Gonna say, that would be neat. Alright, we're gonna start jogging though. I hear music. Oh, why I want to go to the music? I hear you all at the same time with my two ears. I'll wait out here. Oh, okay. But I might be a while. Why not check out the town? I would love to. <sighs> Edith has left the party. All right, here we are. And uh, first order of business, take out the trash, I think. There we go. Nice. Perfect, all right, second order of business. Jukebox. I've turned into Owen Wilson throughout this uh, this playthrough. I'm just saying wow all the time. How you doing, sir? This here's the Sector 5 Community Center. Truth be told, it's really just a place for us old folks to sit and chat. <laughs> Care to stay and keep us company a bit? He'd say no. I'd say yes. This here's the Sector 5 Community Center.
That looks like Stanley. Like ever so slightly. I don't think I can listen to another one of their stories. What oh my gosh. Well their stories. What is Celerus? I know a song these old folks will like. Cloud's new theme song. Don Corneo. Everybody thought it was the end. The plate fell out of the sky? Just that once, and it'll never happen again. Oh, here for a checkup? Um, Doctor? Is that your name? Or your occupation? Because I'm a little confused right now. Mist? That sounds so cool! I have a certain distance to go. And that's inside the the building that she went in. Um, let's just uh, mosey on around. Did you know? This place is haunted. It's haunted? When rich people walk through here, their gill and jewels magically disappear. Oh, then we don't have to worry about anything. Oh, that's so messed up and so sad at the same time. That's that one statement. What? Did you know? This place what? Where, where are you going? What the heck? Oh, what? Whoa, whoa. I'm gonna follow these kids and make this episode real creepy, real quick. Where are you going, guys? Are they just running in a circle? Your name was like Bento, right? Uh, Oats, yeah. I remember you. Where's Aerith? The Leaf House. Nice talking to you. Dude, you got a customer, you might want to look around a little more. Alright, nice. Huh. 
No. How are you here? Okay. Hmm. I've got the finest collection of materia you'll find anywhere. Oh, do you now? Oh! Costa de la Sol. It's Costa del Sol, actually. You have all of what I already have. So I don't want it. Okay, thanks, bye. He's like advertising that he has materia, and I just buy his his song. Chadley, my man. Wait, what was that? Man, the hinges on my front door are too goddamn squeaky. Almost as loud and annoying as the missus. Easy fixes both. Oil for the door, and a fancy night out for the wife. Way ahead of you. We're having dinner in Walmart tonight. Oh yeah? Then what's with the bitching? <laughs> Just got in a big old shipment of fabric softener! For one that's been on TV? Yeah, they say it works miracles. Those stay too tough. Get your hands on the hottest new scent, sunbathing chocobo! Dad, where are you? Oh, this kid's waiting for his dad. That really sucks. Gramps has been feeling a lot better. Ever since he heard about what happened. But I thought we weren't fighting Wu Tai. Shit. This is enough to keep anyone up at night. A portion of all proceeds goes to the Leaf House. Oh, nice. I don't want to buy anything from you, but nice. Later. Over here trails off to a dead end, perhaps? I'm not absolutely sure. Nah, can't leave without telling her. Okay. I was thinking that would happen. Um, that's basically everything. Um, we're going to talk to Chadley. Last thing we do. What are you two doing? Oh, are these the bombers? Oh, they're, they're the bombers. Oh my gosh. Alright, Chadley. I got some news for you. Wow. I understand you must be busy, but I hope you haven't forgotten about my research. You know I haven't. Okay. Uh, first off. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh, only one of them is worth the cheap price, I see. And then the ATB boost. Let's see here. Uh, that seems like a really good materia. Wait, what? Doubles ATB when activated. Cannot be used continuously. 
Press L1 plus R1 to activate. Nani? Cloud, I have come up with the most fascinating theory. Perhaps you can lend me your assistance in gathering data to test it? Cloud, Perhaps. I have the most amazing news. I believe I might know how to develop summoning materia, something heretofore thought impossible. Scientists say that this materia can only be found in nature, but I may just be able to prove otherwise. And so, Cloud, I turn to you. I would like to test this theory by way of my combat simulator. To wit, I want you to fight and defeat summon data in VR. I sense that you find my phrasing to be somewhat obtuse. Um. No way. Battling summons? That sounds awesome. Chadley has developed a new combat simulator, VR missions. As you gather more and more battle intel, special missions allowing you to battle summons will become available. Talk to Chadley if you want to give them a go. No way. Made your preparations. Oh, and I've even done more since then. I have to tell you that I'm grateful for all of your help thus far. Wow. I've done it. I've developed a new materia. Okay, Chadley. There's steel. We found it. And we've got provoke. Automatically uses provoke to temporarily draw the enemy's attention when teammates are severely injured. Really? Uh, ineffective against powerful enemies. Will not activate if the player is controlling the character. Interesting. Okay. Yeah, for a hundred bucks, we'll buy that. And steadfast block. Further decreases enemy damage and fills the ATB gauge faster when guarding. When just holding down guard or guarding attacks? I'm assuming guarding attacks. Interesting. You know what, Chadley, you're alright. You're so alright that what are VR missions again? Shiva? Shiva. Well, I've got time in the episode. And we get the materia for, for beating Shiva. Let's try it. Then I invite you to ready your portable battle simulator. This is a bad idea. He's gonna kill someone in the, in the town somehow. Hey, Shiva. <laughs> This is crazy. Get ready. Whatever. Yikes. Oh my. Um Assess. <laughs> First off. Too bad. Shiva! What the heck? I'm just I'm assessing a summon? That is also a, an optional boss? What is happening? I have barely even scratched her. Oh my gosh. An ice element summon uh, recreated in virtual reality. It is the manifestation of a queen who once healed the planet's wounds with ice, as evidenced by the existence of permafrost in the polar lands. Gotcha. Yeah, because the the summons are they're like celestial deities, right? Anyway, this song is amazing. Let's. Oh, I don't have. Hmm, I have thunder, but I don't think thunder is really what I want to be using. I don't have cure on me either. This is not gonna be good. Oh no. That's not good. Cloud, you need to like move. I won't give up. 
Yeah, I'm not winning this. Is it just Cloud? Or can I bring in party members? I feel like I need party members for this. little jam here as I exit that was unfortunate but remember your limitations are only in your mind my limitation only I in my mind you say all of your future battle we're gonna stuff. give this whoops one more no I, I don't want to talk to the kid again no to all of your we're gonna try one more time but I'm going to outfit cloud with necessary um, weaponry uh, so give me a moment here. Okay, so fire, elemental materia. Basically all I need here. Um, I'm going to get rid of deadly dodge for heal. Mainly because I wanted it, whoops, I wanted to try out, um, oh, we'll take that off of Tifa. I wanted to try out steadfast blocking and see how that goes. Because... I mean, I'm going to be blocking against her a lot, so I might as well be building meter while I'm blocking. Will continue to help me gather vital right? Let's try this again. Alright, you die in the game, you die in real life! Except, not really. Whatever. Alright, that's good. Give it a fire. And then we'll do focus thrust. Alright. Focus thrust again. HP while guarding. Really good. Okay. No holding back. Nice. And uh triple slash. And then we'll buffer in fire up. Oh, I get summons during this fight, too. That's how I'm supposed to overcome these. Oh, I'm scared. Okay. We are... Oh my gosh! Wide out. We want to dodge that. And we're going to use Fyra again. That's bad. Ow! Oh. Okay. Um... Hey, Shiva. Meet Ifrit. Become best friends. Duty calls. I summon a monster in attack position. Here we go. That's pain. That's a lot of pain. Uh, give myself a big old heal. Let's try that again. Nice. Uh, get some some normal fire going on. Gotta conserve my. We're gonna, we're gonna do summon ability. Radiant Plume, yeah. That'll do good. 
Thanks, Ifrit. You're the man. Demon god, or whatever you are. I honestly don't know what you are. You could be whatever you want to be, honestly, because you're helping me in this fight, and that's all that I need to know. Um, give her a fire. No escape. Diamond dust. Um, here it comes. That's not good. That's gonna hurt. Oh, she blew me a kiss. That did not do very much damage. I was expecting more damage. Oh my gosh. Let's do this, Let's do this thing. Alright, Ifrit. We both about to pop off. But please, allow me to pop off first. Cross slash. Let's go! Oh. Oh, of course you take the glory. Ah, uh, fine. I don't really mind. That did Good job. over 5,000 damage. Was never in doubt. Oh! Outstanding. <laughs> the Shiva summoning materia is complete. And now it's No freaking way. Use it as you see fit. The Lady Can I Frost kill Bahamut? The perfect companion for a man like you, Cloud. She will prove well. most useful when the time comes to destroy Shinra. So this kid Let's, we need to, we're at the end of the episode, right? But we need to get one thing straight about Chadley right here. This kid is taking what I'm giving him information-wise about freaking staring at an enemy, killing an enemy with fire, ice, whatever, and he says, I've got this PSVR. Put it on, kill a fake version of like a space demon or whatever, and I will give you the power to summon. Now, I don't believe in gods, plural, but um, if I did, and people like Chadley existed, I'd be scared. Yeah. All right, Um, right, we're gonna buy. Oh, I just he just gave it to me? I don't have to buy it? Ooh, is there another one I can do? Can I do it again? Oh, I can do it again. That's cool. I look forward to receiving all of your future battle intel submissions. I look forward to it too, you strange person. You are right, uh, you're right with me. Where do I look at your new requests, though? Oh, wow, look at that. Oh, battle intel. That's right. Uh, what's the last one I need to do now? Monster variants, part one. Defeat monsters of three unique varieties. That's gonna come just with time, then. Oh, I'm all caught up. I've been kicking some butt. Let's go. And last but not least, we have another summon. And we're gonna... We're gonna go ahead and give this to Aerith. Shiva has diamond dust. Cool. Shiva's design in this game is very cool. Heh, <laughs> cool. Ice. Because in, um, in 15, you don't get summons in this way, because there's no materia system. The magic is very, very weird in that game, how that works. Because it plays like an action game, but this plays like a better version of 15, essentially. Main point, sorry, I'm digressing. Um, summons were different. They just kind of randomly happened, and then you just wiped the whole screen of enemies. This is a fantastic way to do it. They make it feel it makes it feel like they're an actual element to the game. So cool. Alright, well, um 
that's going to do it for this episode, guys. Guys and gals alike, I gotta say, I'm really enjoying using the Buster Sword. Honestly, the Buster Sword with an element does a lot of damage. Plus, guarding giving me um, ATB, and if I can hit the weakness, then I'm I'm in the pink. Um, well, next time we're gonna go back to the Leaf House, catch up with Aerith, and. Oh, you know what? Hold on. There's one more thing I need to do. I did not visit the weapon shop over here. We're going to do that as our final order of business. Now you can handle yourself. Thank you. Because if he has a weapon that I can buy... Ah, he doesn't. But he does have a Caligonus bracelet and titanium bangle. We'll decide what I want to do with this later. Alright. Now we have seen what see we can see. As always. No, he's not selling them. As always, thanks for watching. My name is Nathan. Starbracer. See you next time. Peace. I, I need you to stop, dude. I'm trying to end the episode.